Here is your worst to best wings in Terraria and how to get them in less than 10 minutes. Yes, that means I'm going to have to go super fast seeing how there are 47 wings. Now before we get started, uh, a lot of these wings, like 90% of them, you need to be able to craft using a 20 souls of flight and whatever the other item is. And then also you need an anvil, this being a mithril anvil or the other hard mode anvil, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but let's just move on. First off, the fledgling wings. These wings kind of suck, but they are only the pre-hard mode wings. Uh, you can get them by the creation of a journey mode character or from skyware chests, sky crates, and azure crates. Next is the angel wings, the demon wings. Now these wings are overall kind of easy to get and they just aren't that good. The only way you can get them is if you get 10 feathers, 20 souls of flight, and depending on if you want the angel wings, you need 15 souls of light. If you want the demon wings, then you need 15 souls of night. They kind of do suck again, though moving on to the unobtainable wings. Uh, this one's called the sparkling wings. They were made when you killed Okram. If you want more cut content though, uh, check out my video and it kind of goes into more depth of who Okram is if you didn't know. Moving on to the fairy wings. That you had to kill a m crazy amount, just mass murder a bunch of fairies in order to get. You need 99 pixie dusts and 20 souls of flight. Now for those who don't know, souls of flight are obtained by killing wyverns. Next is fin wings. Now I didn't know what these were, and they don't look too bad, but the way to get them is you need to do a bunch of fishing quests. And I have ever done a fishing quest. I mean, I probably have, but I'm gonna be honest, they're not my favorite thing to do. And you have to get kind of lucky because it's a one out of seven drop. They just, they're kind of gonna be super time consuming. Um, moving on to the ice wings. Now these ice wings are pretty cool. Uh, they're kind of hard to get though. You have to kill an ice golem and he has to drop an ice feather and you need the 20 souls of flight. Moving on to the easier but uglier wings, the harpy wings. Now in order to get these, you need a big harpy wing and your regular 20 souls of flight. Now seeing how you're farming for wyverns, you will probably stumble across one. Next is the jetpack, and it is okay to say the least, but it doesn't really do much, and it's sold by the steampunk for 40 gold on certain moon phases. Next are 16 dev wings. Um, I'm just gonna go over them because I think that they look super cool. The best way for you to get them is by going into hard mode and going through treasure bags other than the queen slime and then this will guarantee you one. Well, guarantee as in you'll have a chance to get one. First you have Red's wing, which uh, I mean it's, it's got a nice blue to it. Then you have D-Town's wings, which I really like, but moving on to Will's wings, they have like this really cool red like little candle thingy on them. Then you have Chrono's wings, I don't really like them as much, but I definitely do feel like they, they, they are different and I mean just overall all the devil wings do have like their own personalities tied to them. Then we have Synex's wings, which because it's like kind of got that butterfly feel to it. I, I kind of like that. The Lazarus Barrier Platform. This one's just straight up different, and that's why I like it. Then you have Yorzior's Spell. Um, I know I didn't say that right, but whatever. This one, just the fact that you have a glowing red eye and all that stuff, I find it really cool. And also, if you move it all the way to the top of your, um, whatchamacallit, your accessory stuff, then your eye glows a lot. But if you move it all the way down, then it doesn't glow at all, which I think is super cool and a really cool feature for them to add. Then you have Jim's wings, which, I mean, I, the name kind of defines it. It's Jim's, it's, they're kind of super plain, but it just works. Then you have Skiff's paws, which I kind of think are pretty cool. I mean, just looking at them, you might not like them, but I, I definitely do like them. Loki's wings, which are actually quite sick. And then Arkill's white wings, which I think that's super cool that they light up uh, just in general. And then you have Lenfor's uh, per... Okay, it's a cloak. I'm not gonna... It's really hard saying all these names, especially because they're not even like their actual names. But the cloak... I have never seen a cloak that's like that, and I just think that it's quite, just overall, quite cool. Then you have the Ghost Infinity 8. It's swords on, at like, as wings. That is so cool. Then you have the Blanket Cape. I don't actually like this one. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. It's just there's not a lot to see, and it's just not that cool. I think it's kind of cute, though. Like, it's a Blanket Cape and all that stuff. Uh, then you have the Foot Barbarian's Tattered Dragonlings. 
These are sick though, like dragon wings, that just sounds overall cool. Then you have the groks, the great wings. These are also super cool, they kind of remind me a little bit, I, I know it's kind of harder to see it, but they remind me a little bit of like fish on wings and how they have the same like color. But yeah, that's about it. Then you have the witch doctor that sells these fire wings called, well they aren't fire wings because if they had fire on them they would probably burn, but they're called leaf wings. And the only way to get them is he sells them for 150 gold, or in other words, one plat, 50 gold in hard mode at jungle, at night, after defeating Plantera. There's a lot of stuff to go on with that, he also, you know, he has to live in the jungle, whatever. Then the bat wings, which aren't too bad, but that bad. Uh, okay, whatever. See, uh, whatever. Uh, you need 20 slows of flight and a bat wing dropped from. Well, you guessed it. If you said bat, well, you're you're crazy. Obviously, it's from a vampire. Come on. Well, here's another one for you. A B wing. You need 20 slows of flight and a tattered B wing. How do you get that B wing? If you said a B. Well, you are super stupid, I mean, honestly. Obviously, it's a um, kill a um, hornet moss, a moss hornet. Okay, you are really bad at this game, so let's just move on. I'm just going to tell you the next one. For a butterfly wing, you need butterfly dust. And how do you get this? By obviously killing a moth. Get that. A, a moth, butterfly dust, do you not get it? No, I'm kidding. That one's actually super stupid. Uh, in order to... To make that wing though, the butterfly wings, you also need 20 souls of flight. Uh, moving on, we have the fire, the actual fire wings, which you need fire feathers and another 20 souls of flight. Uh, you have to get the fire feathers by killing red demons. Next is ghost wings, and if you get 10 ectoplasm, which is dropped in the dungeon after you kill Plantera. However, you can only make these in the 3DS version. In the PC version and console version, it is called the Spectrum. Anyways, now it's onto the hoverboard. This thing is kind of expensive. It takes 18 shroomite bars, which are crafted from chloroplast bars and glowing mushrooms. Oh, and you'll never guess 20 souls of flight, yeah. Next is the bone wings, which you need a bone feather, and that drops from soldiers in the dungeon. However, this is only after Plantera. Now in order to get the Mothron wings, you need to kill Mothron, I know it's crazy. These emanate yellow light and glow in the dark, which I think are pretty cool. Then you have the Spectre wings that we were just talking about. You need 20 souls of flight and Spectre bars, which are made whenever you mix ectoplasm and chloroplast. Then you have beetle wings, which are completely silent. You need 8 husks of beetle husks, which are dropped by Gollum, and 20 souls of flight. Then you have the festive wings, which are dropped by Everscream and glow in the dark. And then you have the spooky wings, which in order to make them, you need 20 souls of flight and a spooky twig, which is by, which is dropped by the morning wood. Then you have tattered fairy wings, which are 20 souls of flight and black fairy dust. Then you have the steampunk wings, which are stole by the steampunk, or I mean, kind of a easy guess, I guess. Then they are sold for three platinum, and they're for post golem. Uh, the beasties wings, dropped by Be beastie. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. They're pretty good though, just overall. The empress wings, dropped by the empress of light. The fish run wings, dropped by duke fish run. I know these are so crazy, right? Then you have the last five wings. This will be the nebula mantle. When you combine nebula fragments with luminite bars, yeah, you do no longer need the 20 souls of flight. Next, you have vortex boosters, which you need 14 vortex fragments and 10 luminite bars. In order to get solar wings, you need solar fragments, 14 of them, and then 10 luminite bars. And then stardust wings, you need stardust fragments, again, 14 of them, and luminite bars, again, 10 of them. Now, for the ultimate and the best wings in the whole game, they are called the Celestial Starboard, dropped by the Moon Lord in Expert Mode. This is a star that you ride on, and it has some of the best, just overall, just, just everything. It is the best wing throughout the whole game. Now, there are some honorable mentions in the Team Mod Loader that I could put in here, but I'm trying to make this video as short as possible for you. So, if you want to see that in a separate video, then hit a like or subscribe or just comment down below being like, hey, I really want to watch that.
and I will one I always get back to the comments too I just appreciate it overall and three uh, thank you for watching in the first place anyways I'm dark and I'm out